everyone knows how to get blondies to be that vanilla-y, fudgy, caramelly, gooey state. Well, I'm gonna show you how. And hands down, these are the most easy to make, absolutely delicious recipe of all time, Jammy Dodger Blondies. Guys, I can't believe I've only just gotten around to making these. They are amazing and you're gonna absolutely love them. Trust me, it was so hard not to eat these when I was taking pictures of them this morning. things first, if you've never heard of a Jammy Dodger before, let me welcome you to an icon of the British biscuit tin for over 60 years. Two buttery shortbread biscuits, sweet raspberry jam, and that cute little heart cut out. These Dodgers are calling out to be stuffed into a blondie. Let's start with a little prep and then we'll get baking. Before we get stuck into the ingredients, you're going to want to preheat the oven. That's 180 degrees C. using a 9 by 9 inch square cake pan lined with baking parchment. A regular brownie pan will work just as well, and if you're using a rectangle pan, you want a 13 by 6. Just make sure your pan is at least one inch deep for those thick, fudgy brownies to rise. So I'm greasing my pan and parchment paper with a little homemade paper leaf, and you'll find the recipe for them. Hey, check out those close pegs. They're my top tip to keeping that parchment from folding over onto the blondie batter whilst it bakes. Okay, let's head over to the ingredients. And in a large bowl, I'm putting it up in my sieve. Sugar. I'm giving it a quick whisk here, making sure there's no lumps in there. Add in some melted butter and give this all a stir. Make sure everything's well combined. You can use a sand mixer or a handheld mixer if you prefer, but just make sure all the sugar is dissolved into the butter. Once you're done, go ahead and grab your eggs. I can't stress it enough, guys. Room temperature eggs are so much easier to whisk up. Pop them in one at a time and give everything a really good stir. Just look at that batter. Okay, now grab your flour. I'm using plain or all-purpose, and I'm not looking for a cakey blondie, so there's no extra raising agents here. Then with a spoon or spatula, mix everything together, and it'll become a really thick batter, but you want to make sure there's no pockets of flour that aren't mixed in. Now at this stage, we're gonna pour in some white chocolate chips, so if you've got chunks of white chocolate, they're just as awesome, especially with the raspberry jam. Next, add in the jammy dodgers, slice them up beforehand to small. Now, grab your lined cake pan, and we're gonna pour in that delicious batter. Pour it all in, and then once it's in there, use a palette knife or a spatula to flatten it all out. You want to try and get it as even across the whole pan as possible. And if you want to, we're going to pop in a little extra raspberry jam and give it a swirl all over the top. Then we're going to add in some more jammy dodgers on the top and give them a push into the batter. It helps them stay in place whilst it's baking. Then it's into the oven at 180 degrees C or 350 Fahrenheit degrees. And they're going to take about 30 to 35 minutes for these to cook. You guys, the blondies are done and it smells amazing in here. It really does. Now, here's my next top tip. Do not overbake the blondies. When they're done, the edges will look much firmer, but the middle will have a little jiggle to it. And that is the key to those perfect, fudgy, buttery, gooey blondies. But this is the hard part. You've got to let these guys cool completely. So put the baking pan on a rack to cool for about an hour and just let them chill out in the kitchen. And we're almost there. When they're cool, lift the blondies out and slice them up. Just look at that edge, the fudgy middle. Guys, that is the best part of these blondies. That is my favorite bit. You can serve these beauties any way you want. Stack them with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a drizzle of raspberry sauce all over, or just get stuck straight in. These are what my dreams are made of right now. And right now, I'm going to go and stuff my face with them. But be sure to check out one of my favourite blondie recipes of all time, custard cream blondies. Or give my Kinder Bueno brownies a try. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next video. See ya!